I'm Joe Biggs with Infowars.com at Glenn Spencer's Ranch in Hereford, Arizona. We just now got back from the flight that he took us up on in a single-engine Cessna where he showed us what he promised. Mind-blowing stuff across our borders right now. We're going to show you the footage of what we saw and explain to you what it is, what Glenn's telling us it means, because he is the leading expert on the border in this area. He has been covering this for 22 years. All the stuff that he has predicted and said would happen has happened. Um, what you can see right behind me is a pretty, you know, regular size fence. And there's that here for a little bit. But once you get a few more miles up this way, what we saw was just crazy. What the Department of Homeland Security, what our government is telling you, they, they say that there's a fence up. So when they get in front of a press conference and they say something, they can feel good about themselves. They can feel like they're not lying. But their idea of this huge fence that's really going across our border is a lot like what you saw yesterday. It's so easy to step over. It is so easy to get through that without anybody knowing you. Once we got a few miles up the road right up here, when we were flying down, you get over this little mountain ravine, and you don't see anything at all. There's just open areas for miles. We flew for 30 minutes. There was not one Border Patrol vehicle in that area whatsoever. But one of the things we saw when we first took off was a brand new $30 million Border Patrol facility that they have here in Bisbee. This is just crazy. You know, what Glenn was telling me is that that $30 million could have been used to put up the fence that they're saying that they're going to have to support us, to help protect us from all the stuff that's happening. But they're not doing that. Instead, they're wasting our tax dollars on this fancy facility that doesn't even need to be there. It's ridiculous. And all you'll see for 30 minutes we saw just flying over, the, over Arizona and Mexico was just something literally waist high that you could just step over and you're home free. If that doesn't just blow your mind, I don't know what else can. Our government is purposely doing this right now. You know, we saw earlier a fence that they put up. They spend $3 million every mile to put up a fence. And all they did was raise it up, put the pins in. This stuff is everywhere. Anybody can come through. And people say, oh, that's racist to say something like that. No, no, no. No, it's not. Because you don't know who comes into Mexico. And then you don't know who comes from Mexico into our country. Because our borders aren't secure. You need to call people who are in charge. We need to get a hold of the people of the White House. We need to do something because this is horrible. The stories that we heard from the ranchers here are mind-blowing about the things they see, the people coming through, the smuggling. They use these little trenches and ravines that come through under the border and hide, and there's trees and stuff. You're not going to see that. They put up some fancy camera every now and then. The Border Patrol does. Half of them don't even work, and if they do, they can't see someone walking through that little area. And flying overhead, what we saw is it's so easy to have cover and concealment and never be seen by all this money they're wasting on these stupid cameras that don't do anything. We don't have enough Border Patrol on our borders. Sending a military out here is really not the answer. But we need to do something about it. You need to wake up, America. You need to start talking about this stuff, and we need to make a change because this crap going on out here is ridiculous, and it's got to stop. I'm Joe Biggs with Infowars.com in Hereford, Arizona, right along the borderline fence through Glenn Spencer's backyard. This is the gentleman we spoke to the other day on the Alex Jones Show. As you can see, it's a pretty big fence and about 100 yards up there. Then it comes into this little fence right here. And what I'm going to show you is how easy it is if you're an illegal alien trying to come across a border or a drug smuggler to come into America. This right here is mind-blowing. Check this out. You come right over through this. You come over here. And ladies and gentlemen, I am in Mexico right now. This is it. That's how easy it was. There's nothing here to keep me from coming across into the country and flooding our streets with drugs and illegal aliens. This is what's going on right now. 
The Border Patrol is not doing anything. They're saying it's going to take another five years to even get some of this stuff fixed. And they've been saying that for a decade. This is crazy. This is stuff that the people in America need to look at. And this is something that we need to get fixed because we have to stop this illegal flood of aliens coming to our country right now. All right, now you can see this, the, the, the process to come back in to the U.S. is so easy. And this is what happens. They come through this fence. They bring their drugs. There's no border patrol anywhere around out in this area. And what happens is this is a wildlife refuge through here. For about 20 miles, there is no way the border patrol can even access this land unless they have absolute positive identity of a suspect coming across. So that means... 99% of the time, they have no idea these people are coming through. And what happens is these guys can just essentially walk all the way out here. And they're home free. Once they get past this area, this wildlife refuge through here, there's nothing that stops them from getting into our country. The Obama voters are now free to enter our country. And we are importing this poverty. But it's not just happening here on the border. This is happening everywhere. It's happening in Minnesota. It's been all over our country right now. But this is where it starts. And this is where we need to stop it. Stay tuned because for the next 36 hours, we will continue putting up reports, informing you on the situation down here at the border. I'm Joe Biggs on the front lines of battle for immigration with Infowars.com. All right, here we are about a mile up from where we just had a second ago. Now, what you can see here is a main traffic uh, route right through here for the smugglers. What they do is they pull up a 15-pack van. Now, this is probably, what, 12 feet high? What they do is they bring it up, stand on top. They have an I-beam to step down on, drop down to this beam, and then come into the country. And they're free. They're home free. Look at this. Right over here. There's a little barbed wire area that's easy to get through. Everybody's done it with some small little pliers. You can just cut right through and you're home free. Our government is wasting money building this fence. And all they're doing is giving them a spot to step and get over into the country. It's a beard. They're putting money. The, the Department of Homeland Security is saying, yeah, we have a fence. We have a fence. But yeah, look at it. I could climb over this. This is ridiculous. That, where's the security at? Where is a secure border that they tell us is up, but I have not seen yet? Continue watching our videos because we're going to keep giving you eye-opening, mind-blowing reports down here at the border. We are now 100 yards up the fence from where we were just at a second ago where you saw the wide parts open. Now look, this is an area that has been cut down by the cartels. It was just repaired on 3-14-14 and it was cut open by the cartels on 10 29 13. now let me show you real quick what happens what they do is there's a smuggling route right back here a truck can get through they drive up here and they bring acetylene gas torches up here they cut through this huge fence right here make it big enough for the truck to get through they cut through these i beams with a torch and then take that down and then what they have is a complete open route into our country to smuggle drugs. This is not by accident. This is a design by the Obama administration and not only just them, our entire government as a whole has a hand in this. The Fast and Furious, all these things are happening. We make money getting their drugs. We sell them weapons. This is a huge issue that needs to be looked at. It's not just the illegals coming through. It's the drugs flooding our borders to help dumb our people down, essentially. I mean, this is a, a mind-blowing thing that's happening out here, and we just need more people in America to care about this and watch what's going on and do something about it. I'm Joe Biggs with more reports coming up on Infowars.com. I'm Joe Biggs with Infowars.com in Cochise County, Arizona with Glenn Spencer. Now, we are right on the border, as you can see, uh, from what Glenn told me a second ago, they spent about $3 million every mile or so to build this fence, and yet they have left this completely wide open. Now tell me why this happens. Well, we're known for monsoons between really July, August, September. We have heavy rains, and uh, what they've done here, uh, because this is a wash, this is a low spot, uh, what they've done is they've cut the holes in the fence and put in these gates and raised them up so the, wa the water can come through.
Now, these are up, I don't know, usually two or th three months out of the year. Uh, as you can see, you could just walk right through. Three million dollars was spent on this section and it is completely left wide open. I mean, right here they have a lock and you can tell that someone goes through the trouble to bring a crane out here, not a crane, but a forklift, lift these up and lock these completely in. Yeah, this and it's is, as this easy is, as yeah, walking in. That's right, you're right. And yeah. you can see footprints over here where people were just right here the other side and trash, water bottles and that coming through. It's obvious what's going on. We'll continue informing you on what's going on out here at the border. I'm Joe Biggs with Infowars.com. Joining me now is Joe Biggs. Now, Joe, what did you really think about that today when Drudge Report had their big headlines, America does not have operational control of U.S. territory? Were you surprised? No, not really. I mean, I've been to the area where they were talking to where they took uh, Ben Carson out and showed him around. It's in between Hereford, Arizona and Naco. And in that area, it's very wide open, very few homes, and a lot of it's BLM, uh, BLM land. So there's not a lot of patrolling going on. You don't, you're not going to see police officers out that way, maybe one or two uh, Border Patrol. But, I mean, if you're a cartel guy, you kind of learn when they're there, when they're not there, what they're doing. Half these guys are sitting there playing, you know, Angry Birds or something on their phone, not even paying attention. So it's not that much of a surprise. But what that does, though, is it helps kind of narrow down for myself as a reporter to go out there. And I know that, that that spot that I've been to, I need to go look harder because, like they said, they're, they're finding these uh, cartel spotters, these little safe houses and things like that. So it's definitely something that I want to go and look into further. Right, yeah, because you're definitely uh, going up in the helicopter a lot. And that's what they're seeing is that these uh, there's caves and lookout spots, you know, thousands of feet up in the air um, that they're, they're spotters, cartel spotters, just looking for people. And I mean, you were there with these farmers who their land has basically been infiltrated. So not only do we have people coming across the border, but now also dangerous criminals or just drug drop-off point. Well, they keep talking about how they're going to build this huge wall or, you know, Trump saying this big wall is going to solve all of our problems. That's just not the case because all you have to do is dig a hole under it or go over. These guys, and not even that, these guys are really smart because last time I was in Arizona with Glenn Spencer, he showed me a lot of the areas on the border where essentially all you had to do was drive up with a truck they pull out their settling gas torches, cut holes in these fence, drive a truck over it, make their drop, come back, hook it up to a winch, pull the fence back up, and then re-weld it. And right. you'll see spots on the U.S. side where the Border Patrol will go after it's happened, and then they'll mark, you know, on this date, so-and-so cartel came through, uh, repatched it up, and they go back and reinforce it, which they don't right. really do anything. All they do and is it's they about take a year it. later that they're... It's yeah, I mean, it, it's completely and totally ridiculous, but, you know, I'm glad that they got this article out because that's going to further put eyes in that area because that's one of the things when I'm talking to my buddy who's a pilot who's going to be flying me around, that's one of the main spots that I was pointing out a week ago and the fact that they're now talking about it further going ahead, you know, that pushes the fact that I should be out there and looking into that even more. Right. Well, and it's, it's good to see that there are some other presidential candidates that are saying, okay, well, America seems to be really concerned about the condition at the border. Um, you know, but obviously, like you mentioned, they can build a tunnel and they have. They've been doing that for decades. We just had another story come out of an arrest of a, an underwater tunnel was found because there was a scuba diver and he brought like 55 pounds of cocaine, kilos yeah. of cocaine. And um, so, I mean, very crafty. And they, it's not like that's the only tunnel that's there. So what's a what's a fence going to do? But like Jesse Ventura said, but keep us in. Exactly. A fence is going to keep us in and it's going to also allow other people to come in as well and go back out. But, you know, when I was in Arizona, I had an opportunity to speak with Glenn Spencer. And one of the technologies he's come up with is a seismic uh, reading device that he places these rods down on the ground. And when someone approaches the border, it sends up this autonomous drone and it flies right over. It follows that path where the, the footprints are and then sends live footage back to him. And then they give that to the Border Patrol. You know, so he took that to Washington, D.C., and these guys were like, no, we don't want to use this technology. Yeah. It works. Right. Much they will so not effective. use something that works. They're putting up a border that's a beard. They do that just to make it look like we're doing something when really all we're doing is wasting millions of dollars. Right. These guys are going to get through On anyways. an ineffective fence. Absolutely. And I think you pointed out in one of your reports that they, they need that drug 
the drugs trafficking through because they, they make a lot of money off of that. Dark I mean, Alliance. Been, I mean. Yeah, at the Dark Alliance. And then check this out. So this is on the uh, coming out of the AP today. So now at busy crossings, pedestrians are going to need a passport to enter Mexico. OK, so uh, pretty much it's been if you're walking in, you can just kind of casually walk in. Yeah, well, long, now there's two lines. Yeah, as long as you I think it's you stay within 70 miles, something like that. I might be wrong, but somewhere yeah. in there. You stay within 70 miles of the border. You can walk in without a passport because I've done it before. Right. You can go over. And I mean, I did it at a border crossing as well. Not one of my yeah. my stunts where I go You're across. But ISIS. Yeah, you, <laughs> could, you could go through just with an ID. So that's interesting they're going to do that. Now. Yeah, well, you'll have to ch choose between two lines. There's a line for Mexicans. They can go through unchecked. And then a line for foreigners who are going to have to show a passport, fill out a form. If you're staying more than a week, you got to pay 322 pesos uh, for a six-month permit. But they point out that for Mexico, this is a step toward closing an escape route for American criminals who disappear into Mexico. Obviously, it could be retaliation for Trump saying that, you know, Mexico is only shipping in criminals here to the U.S. But look at that. I mean, that's that's what this is. It's all about this wall to keep us in. Now, any of us who might want to get out or could be put on the list considered a criminal, you know, but, but, but where but that shows go? how Mexico is being a little kind of, you know, they're being more proactive. Whereas we're like, all right, you know, bring us, bring us your criminals, you know, the bad people that you have. Whereas we do have a lot of criminals who do escape into Mexico. A lot of them were contractors, things like that, who went rogue. They go over, they start working with the cartels, they help out, they help do smuggling and all that. So, I mean, I think they're being pretty proactive in a sense. Our country just doesn't care. We let anybody in and we let these uh, people come in and rape people and then we just let them go again. Right. And a lot of times it is like hardened criminals so I don't really understand what the issue is. So what do you think about what some of the candidates are proposing about the border or about taking away birthright citizenship? Well, I heard uh, Dr. Ben Carson wants to use drones. So that's one of the things that's interesting. He said he wanted to use military drones. Now, I don't know how far and extent that goes. That's, uh, are we right. talking about arming these drones? Or are these just going to be uh, unarmed predator drones flying around? So that's something we have to look into uh, as far as he's concerned, and then we have Donald Trump as well, who wants to to build this wall and then kick everyone out, and you know, I I just don't see how that's going to work. That's going to be a huge waste of money. Right. I think there's uh, cheaper, better ways, like Glenn Spencer's idea of using the seismic reader, sending up the autonomous drones, the small ones, just to use as footage, so you can then you know notify the proper authorities to come in, detain these guys, find out what's going on, and if they're criminals, sending them back. Right. Well, there, I, there's some because there's a lot of people who come over there. legally, you know, and yeah. I think it's a slap in the face. I've got a lot of friends, I had a lot of kids. Yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of friends who joined the military. They came over from Mexico, served their country and they got their citizenship the right way. And I've asked them too over the past couple of years, I was like, what do you guys think about that? That a lot of these people come over illegally. Uh, they skate around the entire system. They don't do it right. And then they're allowed to essentially move freely where you had to go out and potentially die to have that right to be an American citizen. Right. And they're like, yeah, it's just like spit in my face. I mean, why set the standard if you're not going to use it? Right, absolutely. Well, I know you've got some more trips uh, planned to the border, so we'll definitely keep our eye on those reports. I know those are coming up very exciting, and I'm sure you're going to get some more hard-hitting footage like you did last time you were out there. Pretty unbelievable. Trump had to put it, <laughs> had to put that in one of his campaign speeches. I got to talk it. Yeah, wide open borders there. All right, well, thank you so much. And thank you all for tuning in tonight. That's it for the show. But